to discuss proposed additional requirements for containment venting systems for boiling water reactors with Mark I and Mark II containment designs. <coughs> We're here in large part because of the accident at Fukushima. And this accident highlighted the challenges that boiling water reactors with Mark I and Mark II containments can face during severe accidents due to overpressure and hydrogen buildup. The NRC staff has presented a paper to the Commission proposing options for additional requirements, including making containment vents capable of functioning during severe accidents, adding filters to the vents, and conducting additional research <coughs> to enact a severe accident confinement strategy. In its paper, the NRC staff recommended the Commission approve the addition of a filtered containment venting system. Before we hear from the NRC staff on this topic, we'll first hear from a panel of external uh, folks representing the nuclear industry, the Electric Power Research Institute, the Union of Concerned Scientists, and the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. Okay, so now we will uh, gather again to hear from the NRC staff on the issue of containment uh, vents and filtered vents. So I'm going to turn it over to the EDO, Bill Borchard. Thank you, Chairman. Good morning. This is our ninth briefing to the Commission since the accident of Fukushima Daiichi. Throughout this, our guiding principles on the implementation of the Fukushima lessons learned are first, that we must ensure that we do not distract either our focus or the industry's focus on the continued safe operation of operating reactors. Secondly, in implementing the lessons learned, we want to ensure that we don't displace work that has a greater safety benefit or is necessary for the continued safe operation. And last, while we need to move forward promptly, we need to impose the right requirements. In our assessment of the issues relating to containment venting in Mark I and Mark II containments, we believe we have adhered to those principles. It was evident from the discussions earlier this morning that there's general agreement of all stakeholders that filtration is important to mitigate the potential radioactive releases from BWR Mark I and Mark II containments. We all want to do the right thing. While there may be differences on exactly what the additional action should be, it's important for us not to lose sight on that fundamental agreement. However, very simply, it's the staff's view that in addition to the safety enhancements that will be put in place by the orders, by future rules that we're working on, and by flex equipment, as was discussed this morning, it's the staff's view that it's prudent to require the installation of filters on the containment fence. <coughs> also, there's a clear linkage to Recommendation 1 on the regulatory construct as we evaluate how, or even if, Current voluntary initiatives, like severe accident mitigation, should be treated in regulatory space.